Ham and pea risotto. It's a one pan wonder. One pan, that's all you need. Ingredients are some rice, an onion, frozen peas, packet of wafer thin ham, crumbly stock cube, parmesan cheese, well, childhood memory cheese, that's what this is called. Kit you're gonna need, a wooden spoon, a knife, pan, a mug, and I have this spoon, but I don't know why. <laughs> so we might use it, we might not. Who knows? <whistles> Chop your onion into chunks. And the thing about onions is that they give off a lot of acid that makes you cry, all right? So if you start crying when you're chopping an onion, there is nothing you can do about it. Just got to soldier on. A good splash of veg oil, and then into that, the onion. And there's natural sugars in the onion, and they begin to caramelize. And this is quite important, right? It gives a lovely undertone of sweetness to our risotto. So whilst that's cooking, I'm going to boil the kettle. And that is not to make a cup of tea. You're going to need it to cook our rice. And there's special kind of risotto rices, aborio rice, carnelone rice. But it doesn't matter what rice you're using, really. What we're using here is cupboard rice, rice that is in your cupboard. We're going to have one mug of rice to three mugs of liquid. And you can see these onions, they're just beginning to get a little bit caramelised and a little bit brown. And then into that, the rice, give it a good stir around. Next thing, grab yourself a stock cube, just kind of crumble it up into the rice. And then we're going to pour in the first mug full of water, all right? And stir! Keep it stirring, keep it stirring. Stir, 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 releasing all those starches. Are you still stirring? You can see as I'm stirring it that the liquid is kind of going like a pasty colour. That starch is coming out and you can feel it sticking in the bottom of the pan. So at this point, add our second mug of boiling water and stir again. Just about ready to add my last mug of liquid. I wonder if Marcus has got a Tom Kerridge mug. Keep stirring your rice. So that last mug of liquid has been absorbed. Just going to take the heat down really, really low. At this point, we're adding one mug full of frozen peas. And whilst they're sat there, I'm going to get my ham and slice it up. Add the ham to the pan and then the cheese. So this is my childhood memory cheese. Now, I remember having this with spaghetti bolognese pretty much every Thursday night, and I love it. Just want to fold it through. You don't want to break the ham up. And then get yourself a bowl and a spoon. Give yourself a great, big, delicious, healthy portion of one pan wonder, ham, pea, and cheese risotto. Now, the best thing is you've only got to wash up one thing. Why don't you let me know how you've got on using the hashtag Full Time Meals and follow the page where there's loads of other things for you to cook.